Hi, it's Mark from Top Local. We're here with Bernie Pollock, Pollock Automotive in Vancouver, Vancouver's best auto service experience, 17 time winners of best auto repair in Vancouver as voted by their customers. How you doing, Bernie? I'm doing very well. So we're going to talk about Kia Optimas today and how reliable they're this is a fairly popular car recently, um, it's priced very affordably. How reliable is it? Well, I'd say it's fair. Uh, they, they have uh, some significant problems in certain model years. The car's been around since uh, 2000, which is you know quite a while. And I would say that you know that for the first decade, it wasn't a super popular car. In Canada, it was sold as a Kia Magentus. Um, so not a bad looking car you know, throughout its time, but um, you know, not, not quite as reliable as, as you'd expect, for like a, say a Toyota Camry or you know the other competitive sized cars. So Kia's had some major engine issues. So, um, what can you tell us about that? Yeah, so this is probably the biggest sort of stain on 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 this car. Is that from 2011 to 2014, a lot of major engine failures. Hyundai uses the same engine in their uh, Sonata and some other models. Um, major uh, recall so the good news is if you have one of these cars uh, the engines generally fail um, and it's covered by a recall there's a there's a lawsuit from 2015 to 16 on, on the Kia Sonata engines as well um, I don't know so much of the details of that but I think it's a similar problem to the 2011 and 2014 so what what's ha what happened is in the manufacturing process somehow they left some metal behind inside the, inside the engine which is obviously not a good thing so we're in the crankshaft from what I've read, I've never actually taken apart and looked at it, but somewhere in the crankshaft journals, in the bottom of the engine, in the machining process, the metal bits got left behind, and so eventually it grinds the engine bearings and causes the engine to seize. It's a pretty catastrophic failure, and apparently it can happen very, very quickly, so um, there's a bit of a safety concern along as well, uh, which is probably why there's a recall, because usually recalls are not for problems, they're for safety type of issues. So, so anyways, the good news is, it's a recall covered item. So if you happen to have one of these cars um, and you haven't had a recall notice, look out for it. Uh, if you happen to be buying a used car, make sure that the recall has been done or that you do, do your research beforehand because the last thing you want to do is have the car break down. On you. But that's kind of the major engine issue. Otherwise, there, otherwise, there's really very few problems with the engines. They're all good. And over the years, there's been a variety of different engine offerings. In the, in the, up to 2010, you could get a V6 engine as well, which is a, which is a fairly reliable Fairly reliable engine, uh, no problems with that. The four cylinders are, are good. All, all the newer, like 2011 and up models are all all four cylinder. You can get them with hybrids uh, in some years. Some are turbocharged, others are just regularly naturally aspirated engines. Do you have any pictures? Yeah, I got a couple. Uh, fairly new fairly new model, uh, so I'll just enlarge this. And actually, I actually wasn't sure which model it is. It's probably a 2016, 2017, fairly new. Very nice looking car. Um, and then uh, also a uh, view of a cockpit of a uh, 2017 Optima Hybrid, which is really, if you look at this, I mean, it's a really nice car. Um, you know, and I, I will say Kia, they're kind of bottom end cars. So this is, this is kind of what you get at the, at the bottom end, which is pretty awesome. Um, I was in Colorado recently and I rented a, an Optima, just a regular, uh, I'm back. Yep. yep. Just a regular uh, Optima, and I mean, it was a it was an awesome car. Really good gas mileage, about thirty miles per gallon, um, which I think is really good for you know sort of a mid-sized car. Um, fantastic gas mileage. Everything about the car drove fine. I had like, zero complaints. You go like barreling down the highway at eighty miles an hour. It's really comfortable, smooth, no no problems at all. So, you know, really nice car. Um, yeah. So that's uh, a bit about the car. So what else are we going to talk about here? Well, how's well, the rest of the car? Though. What about the brakes? Brakes are good. Um, you know, we don't see any issues with brakes. Uh, you know, you're sort of it's your typical sedan. You're probably you get you know thirty to fifty thousand miles, fifty to eighty thousand kilometers out of a set of brakes, front or back. Um, that's kind of a you know average expectation on these cars. So that's you know nothing abnormal. They don't wear out prematurely and don't seem to have a lot of problems. Drivetrain, good. Um, the only complaint I'd have, we had a client with a Magenta, so it was sort of mid 2000s. So the engine mounts wore out, so there was a lot of vibration and shaking uh, in the car. That seemed a little, in my opinion, premature. It was a few years ago. Other than that, you know, the transmissions, we don't see a lot of problems with them. They're really good. Um, but I think, you know, being, you know, when you make a car that's cheaper, there's, there's got to be something that makes it cheaper. And, and I think some of the, you know, engine mounts, 
suspension bushings and things are probably made a little bit on the cheaper side. How about steering and suspension? No real problems with those either. Um, you know, I do read a fair bit about cars, and there's some complaints about steering poles in these cars, and well, nothing we've experienced ourselves. I don't think it's anything really major. It's uh, you know maybe a tire issue or, uh, but other than that, I mean, there's no real, there's nothing really glaringly bad about the steering or suspension that wears out. Shocks and struts seem to last sort of a normal amount of time as well. So, normal meaning, you know. 10 year old Kias, they seem to be in pretty good shape still. Sure. And electronics are a big part of all cars. Um, any issues in that line? Not, nothing that we've seen in particular. Um, everything seems to be, you know, again, on average, there's nothing where we see. Uh, every Kia that comes in, Optima comes in, has this particular problem. They're, 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 uh, they're pretty decent. You know, there's not really a lot of glaring electronic problems or computer problems with the cars. So overall, how would you rate the Kia Optima? Well, I mean, from I was saying from a new car, it's quite a nice vehicle. Um, you, know, you could uh, you could basically uh, you know as I said, drive it. It's a beautiful car. Um, as time goes by, I'm not sure how it's going to age. Based on the older ones we work on, I'd say they're just kind of a fair car. They they tend to get old quickly, and I, I kind of fear that a lot of the newer ones will probably go the same way. You know, when they're when the car is ten years old, it'll seem a lot older than perhaps. Uh, uh, some European cars or uh, you know, higher end like Japanese Camrys or Lexus. But uh, would I buy one? Uh, you know, I, I'd consider it. So there you go. If you have a Kia in Vancouver and you need service for it, uh, bring it to Pollock Automotive. They'll look after you. They're mild fans of the car and they work on lots of them. You can reach them at 604-327-7112 to book an appointment. You have to book ahead, they're busy, or check out their website, pollockautomotive.com. Thanks, Bernie. Thanks, Mark.